Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God. This is your daily devotional reading. Our High Calling, a devotional by Ellen White. March 16th, the cause of all our woes. Oh, for a closer walk with God, a calm and heavenly frame, a light to shine upon the road that leads me to the Lamb. The dearest idol I have known, whate'er that idol be, Help me to tear it from thy throne and worship only thee. The cause of all our woes. But exhort one another daily while it is called today lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. Hebrews chapter 3, verse 13. Mark the words, deceitfulness of sin. Satan always presents his temptations under the guise of goodness. Beware that you yield not to them. One violation of straightforward truthfulness prepares the way for the second violation and wrongs are repeated until the heart of unbelief becomes hardened and the conscience loses its sensitiveness. Let none flatter themselves that the sins of their youth can easily be given up by and by. This is not so. Every sin cherished weakens the character and strengthens the habit, and physical, mental, and moral depravity result. You may repent of the wrong you have done and set your feet in right paths. But the mold of your mind and your familiarity with evil will make it difficult for you to distinguish between right and wrong. Through the wrong habits you have formed, Satan will assail you again and again. Many look upon sin as a little thing. Many take counsel of their own wishes and desires and follow their inclinations and finally conclude that sin is not so very offensive, not so terrible and dreadful in the sight of God. Sin that may appear little, that may be termed little by the blunted conscience, is so grievous a thing in the sight of God that nothing but the blood of God's own Son could wash it away. This fact places the true estimate upon sin. God will never tarnish his glory to come to our ideas and views. We shall certainly have to come to his. Just in proportion to the excellence of God is the heinous character of sin. God seeks our real happiness. If anything lies in the way of this, he sees it must first be removed. He will thwart our purposes and disappoint our expectations and bring us through disappointments and trials to reveal to us ourselves as we are. Sin is the cause of all our woes. If we would have true peace and happiness of mind, sin must be removed. Our High Calling, March 16th. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.